I'm so pleased to have assumed the role of president of Irving Shipbuilding just several weeks ago, and I want to give you all a little bit of my background and let you know just how excited I am to be here in Halifax and at Irving Shipbuilding. I just completed 36 years of service in the United States Navy, and I'm no stranger to ships and shipyards. I served in five of the U.S. Navy's shipyards, and I had command of one of the U.S. Navy's submarine uh, shipyards. I spent three years as the chief engineer of the United States Navy, and for the past five years, I was in charge of the U.S. Navy's shipbuilding, modernization, and maintenance efforts for surface ships, aircraft carriers, and submarines. When I took a hard look at what was happening in this yard over the next 10 years, I was hooked. Rarely does someone get a chance to be involved with such a large-scale transformation like the one we're executing right here. It's an opportunity that may come only once in a career, and I knew I just had to be part of this. I'll also add that my wife and I are really excited and thrilled to be living in such a beautiful place, and I've already bonded with the area. As someone who spent my life in shipyards, I am so impressed that Canada and the province not only understand the importance of maintaining a strong shipbuilding base, but are also willing to invest in it. And it's also great to be part of the Irving team that believes in shipbuilding right here in Canada. Irving Shipbuilding will invest approximately $300 million in the Yard Modernization Program, which is designed to ensure our facilities are ready to undertake the production of the first set of NSPS vessels, the Arctic Offshore Patrol Ships, which are scheduled to start in 2015, as well as the larger Canadian Surface Combatant Program scheduled to begin production between 2020 and 2022. I'm very familiar with shipyards in the United States. The shipyard design and construction program we're undertaking right here will create the most modern shipyard in all of North America. And now, having had the opportunity to welcome you here today and introduce myself, I'm going to turn you over to the capable hands of the rest of my team to take you through some of the exciting plans we have for Halifax Shipyard while I excuse myself to get to another appointment out near the airport. Thank you very, very much. 